Okay, you guys, so we're getting ready to make this beautiful flower. The first thing I'm gonna do is get out my foam roll that I bought from Michael's craft store. I bought two of these rolls. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is get some paper out and create the shape of the leaf that you want. There's no particular size and shape that I'm using. I just decided to just cut out this particular shape. So I'm gonna pre-cut all my leaves out and I'm gonna make a medium and then I'm gonna make a large. So I'm gonna use the same size but just make a little bit bigger as well. And this is gonna be the size of my leaves, two sizes. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna use my heat gun to create the shape of the leaves. If you can tell, I'm taking the heat gun down the center because I wanna create a crease in the middle, right? So go ahead and rub your finger down the middle and create the shape and you wanna create that hump right there. And so use the heat to create that hump right there because you want it to be shaped just like that. So just continue the process and you'll get better and better as you go because I can see myself getting better as I go. This is my first time doing this particular technique because I'm going to be painting the leaves this time um, with glue and I'm gonna add glitter. So you guys just stay tuned and continue the process. You wanna do all of your leaves at one time before you actually glue them down to the canvas. So let's just do this first. Let's shape all of our leaves at one time. process with all of your leaves and you'll see the shapes beginning to create better and better I'm beginning to create the shapes of the leaves even better because I can kind of see how I like them and I want to make them look more realistic you'll get used to it just be careful with the, uh, the heat gun Sorry, be careful with the heat gun because it gets very hot So the next process that is coming up is I'm going to be using the glue I'm getting. I bought some Mod Podge and I'm using the Mod Podge to as glue, but maybe a different type of glue will work, but I just want you guys to stay tuned so you can see what I do. I use the Mod Podge and I use glitter. So go ahead and continue this same process to create the shapes of the leaves. gun kind of curves it so I'm creating natural shapes it's starting to really look beautiful I'm starting to you know let them stay folded if you see some of the leaves to your left they're already folded because so yeah so that it'll keep that shape even more okay you guys so this is the next step so I'm gonna use the glitter I bought different types of glitter I bought the more finer glitter and I bought the ch more chunkier and some silver, a little bit of silver, these silver kind of, I don't know, chopped up chunks of metal. And I mixed it in my glitter and I just stirred it all up. And I just stirred it up, so. So it's so beautiful, it's such a pretty, it's so pretty, it's such a pretty color. So it's okay, just try something have fun and see look at the leaves and the shape so now you guys um, I first started out with a pencil and creating the shape that I wanted but eventually I didn't do that I didn't have to use a pencil to create the shape that I wanted because I just got really good with the brush that I had these brushes I bought from Michaels I believe and it's just a flat brush and I'm just gluing the area that I want to put glitter. And you guys will see the shape. Once I drop the glitter, you'll see the shape. It's the same shape as the leaf. You see it? And it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And you're just gonna put that aside and complete the next one. You're gonna continue the same process throughout all of your leaves so go ahead and sit down and 
I don't know, watch TV, um, you know, put the radio on, but do all of your leaves at one time. Just go ahead and do your leaves. It is very relaxing, to be honest, very relaxing, kind of like in kindergarten. Okay, so as you see right now, I'm brushing the excess glitter off. I used the brush to brush, not the same brush, a different brush to brush that excess glitter. And I'm continuing the same process because they, when they dry, you'll see the excess glitter on the outside. So that's all you just see me do was just brush that excess off. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get started gluing them down. So you're just going to follow exactly what you see me do. I bought this canvas from Michaels. Just continue this pattern in between each other and the smaller ones are going to go in the middle. So remember I did different sizes. The bigger ones are on the outside, the smaller ones are on the inside. Just figure out what works for you. Continue to glue all the way through and leave the center right here. You see the center? I left the center and now I'm going to create the small pieces to go in the middle using the excess that I have. So just cutting these kind of long shapes, the triangular looking shapes. Okay, so now I'm adding these to the middle. These are the shapes that I had, and I also use my heat gun to create, to make them curve a little more, okay? And so I'm just gluing these in the center. This is my first time doing this, so I, my first time, so. This is how it turned out, you guys. It looks so beautiful and it looks even uh, so this is the it looks even more beautiful on the wall so this is the side um, one so the canvas is a little bit more slimmer and so I'm not doing a complete flower it's like I'm doing almost like a half of a flower so you're gonna glue them in place exactly how you see me and every other one will be in between so go ahead and finish this process exactly how you see me doing it. And then we're gonna add our center pieces, those small pieces that I use. You're gonna create your middle. Just make sure everything is glued down and add those center pieces, those, those white pieces to the middle with your glue gun. It's a fun project, just have fun with it and be creative. Don't be scared to do it, you can't really mess up. Just follow the same process that you see me doing. center pieces in there you'll see how beautiful it turns out yep see how that one is that is a half of a flower and this is the finished project you guys I hope you enjoyed the video and leave a comment below and let me know what you think bye Oh yeah, and make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you're notified, you know, when I get, when I upload new videos. Take care.